About 300 women in fire service from across the country came to Spokane this week to learn firefighting techniques and network. This is the first time in the Women in Fire Conference has been hosted right here in the uh, Northwest region. It's a pretty big deal. Mm -hmm. Crem Amanda Rowley captured all the action and shares the training they'll take home with them now. We're having fun out here. We're also learning skills. This week, the Women in Fire Conference took over Spokane's Fire Training Center. The hope is what happens here will not stay here. I mean, the biggest experience is to feel that support and um, gain some knowledge and some resources to go back and to help make their organization and their community that much better. Women from across the country sat in on various workshops and hands-on training. We have classes for ladders, saws, vents. We have forcible entry. We have nozzle forward, which is basically a class to help attendees learn how to hone in their hosing technique. The group of some 300 female firefighters are a mix of conference returners and first timers. This is Tacoma firefighter Abigail O'Dell's first time at the conference and in Spokane. I would say probably force entry is one of my favorites. Um, there are just different tools you can use, different techniques. Um, and it's really great practice because it's an important skill for anyone in the fire department. Women in Fire President Amy Hannafin says the goal here is to empower these women and provide opportunities to grow in their field. We want attendees to get out and train in, in a positive atmosphere. We also want them to feel like they can fail a little bit and be comfortable in learning how to then come back and try again and succeed. They may have been strangers at the start of the conference, but it didn't take long to see them lift each other up. 100%. I mean, I really feel that when you see someone who is like you, maybe who thinks like you, who's built physically like you, um, who is doing the same job and then they're able to teach you, I mean, that's a really um, valuable experience to have. In Spokane, Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.